I think for me now personally, um obviously this season has been alone, you know. Uh found joy again in my football, this club, and I'm very grateful for the opportunity that they gave me. But now it's obviously between the two clubs, you know, I'm a lot of sundowns and super sport and also I have to yeah, now also from Coach Vilan, you know, his assessment of my loan spell and also what he thinks. So for me, obviously, you know, I have to hear what I have to say first and we'll take it from me. From you, are you able to stay or do you want to take the sundowns? Uh, at the moment, I can't really say, you know, for me, it's all about challenging myself and to being the best out of myself. So like I said, you know, we'll have to see what the coach I have to say first because obviously in his, I have to see if I'm in his plans for next season or what. So, but for me, um, I'm always, you know, willing to go back to Sundowns. But like I said, I've had a fantastic season now at Super Sports. So we'll see when the new season starts. Do you have anything prepared uh, to tell uh, the Lani and the technical team? They would have obviously told you what you need to work on. Um, do you have something prepared to say, look, this is what I did, this is where I'm one better, this is where I still need a bit of work? Um, yeah, um, I haven't spoken to Coach Vilani you know, since he got the head coach position, but obviously, you know, um, what he told me, you know, in the past, you know, always wants me, you know, to work out, to show, you know. So obviously, when I came here, it was to make sure that I get the game time, you know, get the minutes, you know, build my confidence back and to show why they signed me, you know, in the first place. So, yeah, so obviously, you know, it's not easy, you know, playing for a club like Amelie de Sundown. So for me, it was, it's to, you know, after the season to show, you know, so we'll see. Any indication of you know, any indication of how long your Sundown's context is, um, just to gauge, you know, uh, yeah, when can Gavin sign you? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I still have like a two years left at Sundowns, you know. So probably you know it's difficult always know for clubs to buy a player out when you have so many years left, you know, on his mother club. But you know, with the clubs, you know, how the two clubs have been doing business, you know, in the past, you know, and also last season, but. Like I said, it depends on the club, you know, if Coach Kevin, you know, sees me in his plans for next season or not, or if Coach Vilani. So for me, it's just to wait in here. What sort of conversations do you have if I have, you like, say, I'll take a salary, you know, salary cut? <laughs> Are you willing to make sacrifices to, like, to, yeah, to play more, more first uh, Actually, I haven't, you know, thought of that, actually, you know. <laughs> For me, it was just to make sure that I give my best, you know, for Super Sport and to see out the season and to see how well I can do for the club. So I haven't really, you know, thought of next season or any of that plans or contact plans. So for me, it's just thankful for the season that Super Sport given me, you know, the season and for the work that I've put in. So like I said, now in the off season, we'll see what happens. But should we go back? Would you say yourself playing them in the Sundown squad? No, I'm really not sure, you know, because obviously now they do things different from what they do here, you know. The only way you will see yourself if you put yourself there, you know, amongst that players on a daily basis and how they do things. So, yeah. Last season's run, season super sport. How difficult is it, you know, to try and fit in where you, where you keep moving? Yeah, obviously, you know, it was a bit difficult with the off the field things, you know, as well as last season. And also, it was my first season going out on loan, you know, so I had to adapt with a lot of things. But I think what helped me this season was since I came here the first day, you know, the guys, the coaches, everyone welcomed me with a big opening arms you know so i think that helped you know the coach the preseason he's been he was talking to me every day you know telling me what he expects from me and what he wants from me so i think that helped you know um the clear understanding between myself and the coach and also the players so i think also the bond we have here as a team was really good for myself you know i felt like i said i felt welcome from the first day onwards so I think that really helped me and also um, being now 
more years in Johannesburg, I think now with how things are being done this side, you know, after spending most of my career in Cape Town, I think that also helped, you know, I'm more settled in now, my family's this side. So I think over the field, you know, that helps as well. If you weren't to stay here, who will you miss the most then? Excuse me? If you, if you weren't going to stay here next season, who will you miss the most? Definitely not this guy who must be not this. <laughs> I think most of the guys, you know, like I said, we're like a mini family. Um, obviously, most of the guys that I spend with is Bradley, Kabuza, Bob, Jamie, Keegan. You know, that's the uh, guys that hang a lot together. So probably that guys. Surely you are relishing the opportunity of playing. Yeah, obviously now that you now as a player you want to take part in the big competitions, you know, you want to take part in the CAF competitions. So yeah, probably that would be if I had to stay in you know, one of the easiest because now the club is playing CAF, you know. So we'll see because at the time when I was at Amalo de Sundowns, you know, I didn't get the opportunity to make my Champions League debut, so that's something I'm still looking forward to making, so I will see in the new season.